What's up y'all, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. It has been a while for me, so if I'm a little rusty, give me a break, please, for the love of God! Alright, anyway, what we are going to be talking about today is compressor, no, what am I talking about? We are going to be talking about preamp gain. Give me a break, I'm telling you, give me a break. Alright, uh, things to do when you when it comes to setting the gain on your preamp and some things that you don't do some no-nos when it comes to this alright so I have my microphone beside me and we're going to be testing both extremes the volume being too low and the volume being too high what happens and why you need to avoid this alright so what I'm going to be doing is setting my microphone to a very low gain setting check 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 alright so it's very low Okay, and I'm going to record a little bit. I'm talking very far away from my microphone, and the waveform is very small. I was going to say something else, but I did, it just didn't come to me. All right, so as you can see, the waveform is very small, meaning the, it, the volume of the track is very low. Now, when you go to you know add, start adding a compressor to this track you bring it up and uh, what happens is you have to actually decrease the threshold on your compressor a ton so let's see what the threshold is um, until the compressor starts reducing I'm talking very far away from my microphone and the waveform so it's around negative 36 decibels is when it actually starts to register that there is gain reduction on the compressor and that is huge that is very huge so when you start going and adding gain to the channel I'll show you what happens I'm talking very far away from my microphone so you can tell that the volume of my voice raises and but the background noise of the room and the, the circuit hum the circuit hums from my microphone my preamp and even the computer the, the actual circuits produce a little bit of hum and buzz and that's what you are hearing so when you go to add gain on your compressor or even a limiter uh, what's happening is you're increasing that background noise that hum and that's not what you want and at that point delete it and re-record that is going to be my suggestion to you now on the very other extreme is if the gain is too high if the gain is too high it sounds like you're talking into a megaphone and there is an unnatural amount of gain being put on your voice now if I yell it sounds like I'm talking through a PA a PA that was created in the 50s or some crazy shit I don't know did they have did they have PAs in the 50s? I don't know. I don't know. Give me a break, you know what I'm saying? Give me a break. All right. So, as you can tell, clipping is bad. That that gain that is being added to my voice, if I were to record it, would never be able to be taken away from it. So, at that point, delete it and start over again. All right? So, those are the two extremes, the things that you do not want to be doing and why how to do it right if you go into a studio say someone comes into your studio and they're gonna record some vocals you have them check on the microphone and you set the gain setting to what their voice is as they check they could just be talking into the microphone as normal and you set the gain to that there's a problem with this once they go to start singing they you know could be louder than what they checked at and at that point there is a possibility that they could be clipping so what I do when people come in and want to record some vocals is I tell them S literally almost scream into the microphone at the volume at which you think is the loudest that you can go and if I set the gain to the loudest that they can sing then anything that they will be recording in the future will not be clipping and you know sometimes I might have to go back and yeah, I might have to go back and fix this because the gain setting might be too low at that point but in general that is how I start out and so if I were to do that with my voice just talking this is what's gonna happen so as you can see it's still clipping but as I turn it down 
the volume on my channel will get lower and lower and now it's not even clipping anymore and this is actually not too bad see it's turned red this box right down here in the lower left hand corner it turned red again and that red means that it is clipping and so you can see that there's a reasonable amount of volume on my track and that's exactly what you want all right so that's really all I had to talk about today guys I am actually gonna go start getting into the swing and things just a little bit more um, this is just almost a thing to get me rolling here with these videos again but I am definitely going to be pulling out some awesome stuff here in the near future as summer begins hex yeah man alright and that's all I have to show you guys today so thanks for watching Mitch out